Good morning and welcome to the South Devon coast, where this morning I'm hoping to capture some sunrise images at Dawes Warren Beach. So why have I come to Dawes Warren? If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you already have already seen a couple of videos where I've been down to this beach. Now, the reason I keep coming back is there's a couple of reasons. First of all, it's local. It's really easy for me to get to. It's about half an hour drive from home. So when it comes to having been short of time and need a location to go, I often come here. The other reason is I think it offers quite a bit of variety. Now, it's quite a long beach, um, but along that beach are 15 or so groins and it also works at all sorts of tide heights as well. High tide, low tide, uh, incoming, outgoing, it doesn't seem to really matter because you've got such a long beach and the groins are all different shapes and lengths and heights, and that sort of stuff. so there's lots of variety and you can almost always find uh, a spot to take a picture from. So for those two reasons, it being local, to me anyway, uh, and the variety of uh, different spots along the beach makes for a really good location. So. I'm hoping that this morning I'm going to get some good conditions uh, and I can make the most of my time here. So what are the conditions like here this morning? Well, not quite as forecast. There is quite a lot of uh, dark cloud above me, but um, I think you can just see it behind me there. There is a small gap in the clouds and that's just where the sun's going to rise. So I'm hoping that despite the um, quite overcast sky, that gap, when the sun pops up, is going to give me some really nice light and that should uh, give me some nice colour on the beach and on the groin and on the water, giving me the photograph I want. But I've got, I don't know, about 20, 30 minutes before sunrise. Got to get the camera all set up, because um, when that light does pop between that little gap there, I think the amount of time I have for shooting will be really small. Um, so let's get the camera set up and I'll talk you through my composition. Okay, I've got the camera all set up on the tripod. Let me tell you about my composition. Well. My composition this morning is going to be pretty well as simple as it comes. I've got this groin here. Now I've selected this one because it's got a nice even gradient as it goes down into the water. Like I said earlier, the, all the groins along here have all got slightly different characteristics, um, but I picked this one because it's going to help me keep the image nice and simple. So I'm going to use that uh, coming out from the uh, right hand side of the frame out into the water. And then that's really about all the elements I'm going to have in my picture. I've got some sky, Hopefully, I'm going to have include maybe a little bit of the beach just as the waves pull out. So I'll wait for a wave to come in and then I'll take the exposure and hopefully get some nice pullback and hopefully I'll see a little bit of the beach. And if I get that light that's hoping that's promising to pop through that gap in the cloud, I might get a nice bit of colour on the sand as well. So all I've got to do now is I've got camera set up, composition set up, just got to wait for the sun to pop up through the horizon and take the picture. Great news, the sun rise has just kicked in and it's way better than I thought it was going to be. It's come up through the middle of the clouds just as I thought it might do and it's bathed the whole scene in golden light. Nice reflections off the sea, off the sand, off the groin. It's, it's better than I hoped it was going to be. I'm just going to take some more pictures because um, ah, it's time to issue. just going to go with the photography. Another exciting morning on Dawlish Warren Beach. Yes! Well, my time here at Dollis Warren is coming to an end. The sun is well and truly up and I've had the best of the light. But what light I had this morning, it was beyond my expectations. A really bright orange sunrise, which enabled me to get some really nice images. I'm really looking forward to going home, selecting one and printing it off. I think, honestly, the biggest challenge for me is that's going to be able to pick one. I think got uh, got quite a few keepers out of this morning's shoot. But it's time to go home have some breakfast first and a cup of coffee obviously and then select an image and let's make a print. Okay so I'm back home now and I've imported the photographs from the card 
onto the computer and I have to say I'm really happy with the results. I've post-processed about six or seven of the images, um, but if you want to know how I've post-processed my images, I've recently published a video on that very topic. If you want to see that, I'll pop a link up in the screen in the corner. So now that the post-processing is done, it's time to get on to the good bit, the printing. Now I've done a couple of videos on printing as well, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about how I print these images, um, but I'll pop up a little uh, playlist up in the corner there so you can have a look at my printing videos as well. But for me, the, the hardest thing is gonna be selecting one image. And I've already decided that it's too hard to select one image because I've got so many nice images um, from this morning's work. So I'm actually gonna print off two, um, and I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll come back to you and I'll have a chat to you about the results. So I've got those photographs printed off. Let's take a look at the first one. So let me tell you what I like um, about this photograph first. So obviously I've got a really nice color from the sun and it's reflected really nicely across the side of the groin there. But I've got a really nice texture in the, the cloud here. It's quite dark and stormy, the cloud as it came across, just as we had, just as I said in the video, got that little gap there between the horizon and the cloud where the sun has come up. But that's given me some really nice color along the underside of this cloud. And, some real, and you can really see some of the texture. I also quite like the exposure time in this. It's not like really long, but it's enough to give me some pullback here from the waves, um, and obviously got some nice texture here as well. So really pleased with this one. Okay, let's take a look at the second print. As you can see from this one, it is a long exposure. Now I'm a sucker for a long exposure, particularly when I'm down at the coast. I often feel that long exposures work quite well. Now, that previous image with a slightly shorter exposure time also works as well, because you capture some of the, the texture and the movement in the waves. But when it comes to this image, this one, I just prefer it slightly. So it's a slightly different composition. So as you can see, you've got the sun just out of frame, um, but I've still got some of the golden light here on the side of the groin, but the long exposure has smoothed out all the water, and it's also smoothed out some of the texture from the, the cloud. Now that's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, Oh, this is probably my favorite of the, all the images that I took, and I think it looks really good as a print. Oh, I forgot to say, if you're interested, the paper that I've used to print both these images is from Photospeed, and it's a metallic gloss paper, which I think has suited these two particular images very well. Okay, so this video is called Shoot, Print, Surprise. You've seen me do the shoot, you've seen me do the prints, but you're probably wondering, what's the surprise bit in this video? Well, let me cut back to the beach, and I'll show you. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I'm actually gonna take the pictures this morning with a Nikon D80, a camera that was released in 2009. Let's see how we got on. Wow, the conditions have been great for photography this morning, and I think the Nikon D80, looking at the back of the LCD screen, has produced some really nice images. So yes, I created all those photographs with a Nikon D80, a camera that is now almost 12 years old. So why did I create this video? Well, just for fun, really. I also wanted to go out there and test myself. Could I create nice landscape images using a bit of technology that is, you know, over a decade old? And I think the answer was yes. I was really at home and really comfortable using the Nikon D80. So am I saying that gear isn't important? Well, no, gear is important, but not necessarily in the ways that you think. It's no substitute for good technique, good composition, having good light, using good glass. All these things will help you make better photographs. So there you have it, shoot, print, surprise. I do hope you enjoyed all three elements of this video. I hope, particularly hope you liked the surprise bit. Like I said, for me, it was just a bit of fun, just something to do with an old camera and go out there and test my skills as a photographer. But if you did like this video, I would really like it if you gave it a thumbs up, hit that like button, and of course, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what your thoughts are about gear and how and when it can actually help you improve your photography. I'd be really interested to hear what you've got to say on this subject. And of course, if you wanna see more content like this, please do hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that bell icon, you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. 
But until the next one, I'll see you then.